The Stormar Technology Testing Center was developed by a consortium of local agencies and state agencies from Oregon and Washington uh, with the intent to uh, evaluate proprietary and non-proprietary stormwater technology devices uh, to evaluate the effectiveness of their uh, removal of pollutants from stormwater as well as the maintainability and the life cycle cost for operating these facilities. Starting back in 2009, uh, a group of local agencies including the City of Portland, Clean Water Services, City of Gresham, ODOT, and many others including the Department of Environmental Quality, Washington Department of Ecology, uh, gathered to figure out what were some of the challenges that we had for evaluating these types of devices. One of the uh, nationally recognized testing protocols was developed by the Washington Department of Ecology, uh, known as the TAPE protocols, which is exactly what every agency in the state of Oregon is also following. The center is designed to remove pollutants from stormwater. Uh, to evaluate these uh, technologies, that are designed specifically for cleaning the stormwater from roadways and, and uh, city streets and roads and private developments. We didn't have a, an effective and efficient way to evaluate these technologies and we had no way of knowing what was the life cycle cost for these facilities. This group then decided that the development of the Stormwater Technology Testing Center was the future for the region and the nation. Um. Here at my feet, there's a manhole for a large pipe that comes from draining the I-205 freeway. And we divert water and deliver it as unchanged as possible. We want to deliver all the sand, all the uh, floating material, all the, any oils and greases, and find out if these technologies can remove that from the stormwater. The vision is for this center to provide a cost-effective site for manufacturers and local agencies to have their technologies tested. Uh, the center can actually test three technologies simultaneously using the same uh, constituent stormwater from the I-205 and City of Portland watershed. This will make it much easier for uh, manufacturers to get their technologies evaluated by the Washington Tape Protocol and approved for use on public road projects. Okay, as part of this facility, we wanted to convey the water without changing it, so we chose pumps that are chemically very clean. They're called air-operated diaphragm pumps, and the diaphragm is made of Teflon, and um, it doesn't add anything to the water, and it can pump sand and gravel as well as water. So they're very tough pumps, but they're chemically clean. This is the inside of the laboratory uh, container. And we have a computer. We have a programmable logic controller in a case here. And we have four pumps. The pumps behind me are positive displacement pumps, as well as being air operated. That means that we can use them to measure the flow rate of the water in the pipes. The computer can keep track of how many pump cycles there are and do the math and tell me and record how many gallons per minute have been sent to the technologies, the stormwater technologies. The, the key that we want to do in, in testing these things is to find out how long it takes them to get dirty enough to be, need to be serviced. They'll clog up because they're removing pollutants. And after a while, they need to be taken care of and refurbished. And this computer and the pump that keeps track of the flow rate is used to figure out how long did those pumps stormwater technology continue to clean the water before they needed to be taken, uh, taken apart and cleaned. So the manufacturers of stormwater treatment technologies have, I, have been collaborating with the development of the center from day one. They've identified it as uh, one of the most cost-effective ways for them to get their technologies tested in a short time frame in a fair and equitable way. Okay, looking at pump zero, we called it zero because it doesn't send water to a stormwater technology. Instead, it pumps water back 
to the wet well and stirs the contents to make sure that the sand goes to the middle of the, the manhole and the other three pumps then pull that sand out and send it on to the uh, technology that's being tested. That way, we any sand that has come along the, the big 84-inch pipe, we want it to go all the way through our little system here and get out to the, the technology that needs to remove that sand material. So this is the first of the pumps. And then there's three more, one for each test bay. And they can be operated at different pumping rates. And the computer tracks all the flow through them. And we're going to record all that data so that we can recall it and we can use it to find out how much water came down the pipe during a certain size storm. And we can find out, we can, we've recorded how much water goes to the uh, stormwater technologies and how much, how much pollutant they removed. So that's our goal, is to send a very specific and known about amount of stormwater right to the stormwater technologies and then send the, the water to a laboratory and have it analyzed and find out how, how good of a job that technology did. The center is currently in a ramp up phase. We hope to have it fully operational within one year. We're currently advertising to hire a third party to operate the center with the center being given full direction from a collaborative board of representatives from participating agencies. There are currently efforts going on across the nation to set national testing protocols and the Environmental Protection Agency is looking at setting up national testing centers which this center is the model we hope that all will follow.